Hey, hey, hey everyone, Tankenstein here in this video. I've got your gameplay and overview for the Object 775 straight from the Kings of Battle dev server. This is a currently rank 6 battle rating 9.3 tank destroyer or anti-tank missile carrier for the Russian ground forces tech tree and this is actually what it looks like and it can actually go lower than this because it has a hydro-pneumatic suspension. Anyways, this vehicle is pretty much near the end of its line. It's actually just before the Xantima. It should be a pretty powerful vehicle. Now the stat card is all wrong. So it says it has zero millimeters of hull armor. That's incorrect or turret armor rather. As you can see in some areas you have just over a thousand millimeters. <laughs> so it's, it's a little bonkers. Uh, and then you know of course in the hull you have 90 millimeters thick but it is constructed at 75 degrees which means that this thing will ricochet a ton of shots. Now also interestingly it fires the Rubin or Rubin or whatever you want to call it, which is the only vehicle in War Thunder, I think, that currently fires this. And it has 500 millimeters of armor pen, which in 9.0 BR, 9.3 rather, is not all too bad, not fantastic, not terrible, and it's not tandem charge. So it will be stopped by a decent amount of ERA, given, again, it's relatively low armor pen and the fact that it's not tandem charge. Now, it does fly decently quick at 550 meters per second, but you also have the BUR, the B-U-R, which is basically an HE shell, but kind of like heat in a way like the way it fires it's a little bit weird but it's still a pretty cool shell now the thing with this vehicle at least as of yet it does not have any laser rangefinder doesn't have any regular rangefinder nor does it have thermals or night vision i'm not sure if those are going to come into war thunder with this thing or what but overall looks like it should be a pretty fun or more so a funny tank this is like a top tier meme tank so i'm pretty stoked so i said let's get into a few matches test this mother this mother jammer i was gonna say the this mamma jamma out but uh mother came out i don't know why anyways let's go ahead and test this thing out and see what it can do okay we have an enemy tank on the c point now i do have a stabilizer which is really nice plus um this can't fire on the move which is not something that i really expected Ooh, got the track will i have enough reload oh got him <laughs> there we go this thing is freaking crazy! These guys are just... They're not doing anything to me! Oh, man! <laughs> oh, look how low I am! He can't even hit me! This is great! Wow! <laughs> Holy guacamole! Wow! Okay, so normally in uh, in these match now this has a terrible reverse speed if you couldn't tell. Now normally in in uh, dev blog or dev server matches, there are a lot of bots, and there really are a lot of bots. Don't get me wrong, but I just so happen to find two of the only people who aren't bots. Now when it comes to the suspension, this is as low as it can go. Now let's go ahead and raise it, and as you can see, it can get kind of high up. I mean, not much. Um, so, I mean, it's pretty decent. Plus, you can, like, angle down the, um, you know, front corners and all that. Like, you can do certain things at, at different um, whatever, which is kind of cool. Now, again, this does not have any sort of... Um, okay, it looks like we might have a tank over here. This, unfortunately, lacks uh, thermals. But, eh, it is what it is, right? At least for right now, it lacks thermals. So, let's go ahead and see if this thing has better movement speed when it's fully uh, up, I guess you could say. It doesn't really seem like it's any faster, to be honest with you. Uh, maybe a touch, but I think, like, quality of life things, like um, bumpiness, things like that, off-road is probably going to be better when you are um, a bit higher up than this. Or a bit lower, uh, I mean, say, a bit higher up, but uh, when you're fully down... I don't really think it makes too much of a difference whether you're on or off-road. So I said, let's go ahead and get into another match. So something that's extremely important that I would recommend everybody do, especially those who are trying to actually use this vehicle, because it is so low, go ahead, go into your settings, and remove grass from your gunner sight. Trust me, it is game-changing, especially with this vehicle. Because the grass oftentimes is literally so high that you wouldn't be able to see anything with this vehicle. Like right there. Like see how high it is? And so 
You go into your gunner sight, it's no longer there. Okay, we have an XM1. Didn't get a kill. Not yet, at least. Didn't get a kill. <laughs> what? So, these ATGMs are not very good. Um, I'll just say that. They're... Eh. At best. I think. But this is a weird vehicle. You know? I mean, it's it's just a very unique uh, sort of vehicle. Okay, we have some enemies over here. The turret rever or the uh, reverse speed on this is terrible. Looks like these are... Ah, I hit a tree. And that's one of the big problems with ATGMs. Okay, got an IS-2. Now, it's, this is one of the problems, I would say, with, uh, with this game mode in particular. I'm going to uh, respawn, but it's that you face a lot of World War II tanks. But let's just kind of like go ahead and do like a quick appraisal of this vehicle, right? It doesn't have any smokes. Again, at least currently, it could change. Its ATGMs are, eh, I would say for 9.3 BR, pretty mediocre. Its mobility really isn't that good. But its armor and the, the low profile of it is pretty good. Um, the only real problem with its low profile is that it's kind of a double-edged sword because you, while you, you know, won't be seen quite as easily, you won't be able to see things quite as easily as well. Uh, so there, there's a little bit of a give and take here with it. Okay, we have an enemy. Got the kill! Panzer... Or, uh, BMP-2, not too bad. Also, let's go ahead and, like, look at this map. Flanders. I mean, I don't know why they're adding, like, a Simpsons character to this. Uh, if that makes any level of sense. Okay. Got the radiator. Perfect. Got the kill! Even more Perfect. Uh, I, I don't know if I really like the... Like, that was a little bit of my fault. Like, getting a, uh, a horizontal shot like that, right? Like, where somebody's going across your field of view. Uh, at a relatively close range like that. Like, where, not where it's, like, spot, like, point blank. But it's, like, I don't know, 100 meters or 50 meters ahead of you. Those can be a little bit tricky, especially with a fast-moving vehicle. I mean, thankfully, these are relatively quick missiles. But they're not really fantastic. Um, you know, I mean, they're, they're good, but again, I mean, like, they, they're not, tan I feel like a tandem charge would do so much more. Well, we have a tank here. Nice. Okay, these are World War II tanks, though. Is it really all that much of an issue? Eh. I mean, they're target practice, right? Okay, there's something up with my... Oh, wow, so there's only a five... You know what? Let's go ahead and just put the HE shell on. I want to see what that does to this thing. And I got the kill. Very fun. Ah, sorry about that, buddy. <laughs> this thing is great. I mean, like... I have to imagine that they're just kind of being deflected or ricocheting right off the front of this thing. Like, it seems like that's what's happening. Uh, and in that case, I mean, this thing is great. It's fantastic in that regard. You know? And I feel like once people get used to this vehicle, uh, we're going to start seeing, like, okay, seeing, like, weaknesses being hit. Like this, for example, like the turret ring, or like the side of the front of the turret. I think I showed you guys that earlier in the in the video, like when I was first kind of doing an overview of it. Um, or obviously the sides, if if it's available. I mean, of course, sides are not always going to be available to be shot, but in the instances that they are, yeah, um, those are very big weak spots. But, I mean, overall, because I think this is going to be, like, the last match in this gameplay video, what do I think about this vehicle thus far? Again, it's... I don't really know if it's complete. I feel like there's got to be night vision on this, at least. Possibly thermals. And so I like this vehicle because it offers a really weird way to play. 
and I feel like that's a lot of fun. However, there are a lot of flaws to it. I mean, that's probably one of the main reasons why they never made this thing outside of a prototype. Um, you know, it, it's only got two crew members, which means much lower survivability than it otherwise would have. Um, it's got minimal armor in a lot of areas. Uh, the ATG... Oh, wow, I got a double kill! Look at that! The ATGMs are good-ish in some instances. Like, when they're facing really unarmored vehicles, they're not bad. Uh, you know, I mean, they're, they're okay. But, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, like, the mobility is mediocre. Again, there's not many crew... There's only two crew members. Three crew members is even a bad amount. But two... Like, that basically means as soon as one of your crew members dies, unless you're on a base, uh, I think that means that you lose, right? Doesn't, wouldn't that mean that you lose your tank? Uh, so overall, eh. Okay. Nice! Very nice. I, I just love taking out World War II tanks. I, I don't really care. I mean, this is a dev server. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! We have someone over here. Uh, also, the turret traverse on this thing is not very good. I mean, it's okay. But 20 degrees per second and 9.3 BR definitely counts, at least in my opinion, as a bit subpar, substandard. Uh, it looks like somebody was just capping this base, but they just kind of le uh, left it. Someone just fired something somewhere. That tends to be, like, what happens in War Thunder, right? Like, someone fired something somewhere, but I don't know where or who fired. Okay, there we go. That's the enemy. Okay, he is over there. He doesn't know where I am. But I know where he is. Oh, that was ERA. That's not good. But I got the driver, the gunner. Ooh, this is good. Hopefully I can... Ah, he had the Challenger 3. He had a second quicker reload than me. But that just kind of shows you. I mean, like, this guy... It's not that great of an ATGM. You know? I mean, it's it's okay. And obviously, you can one-shot if you always hit the right spot. But you're not always going to hit the right spot on the enemy uh, vehicle. You know? I mean, like, it's not a very forgiving ATGM. The vehicle itself is kind of slow. You know, like I said... 4 out of 10, I'd give it for mobility. Kind of prelim without really giving too much time to really thinking about it. Um, ATGMs are a bit mediocre. Reload speed's good. Survivability of the vehicle is good from the front. Crew, not good. Um, it's a really fun vehicle, though. It's a meme vehicle. I mean, like, a lot of vehicles in War Thunder, they don't necessarily have to be good to be fun. And this is one of those vehicles. I think it can be really, really good. In many instances, I think people can tear up enemy teams with it. Hell, this might even be one of the best vehicles in the uh, in this update. However, uh, it's just a really tough vehicle to get a feel for right now in the dev server because I'm fighting a lot of uh, World War II tanks. And it's just like the vehicles I'm fighting that aren't World War II tanks tend to be like 10.3+. plus. You know, like, there are a lot of really high BR tanks here. So, I don't know. But either way, thanks so much for watching. If you don't mind, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing. I appreciate all of it. But either way, thanks again. And I will see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone.